Okay, so we're going to solve this equation using uh, three methods. We'll start by completing the square. From there, we go to quadratic formula. We also go to factorization. So let's start with uh, completing the square. So what we normally do here is to divide throughout by the coefficient, which is here. So that will give us uh, something like uh, this. Okay, so once you divide throughout by 2, let me show you something here. We know that we've got 2x power, the 2 plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we divide throughout by the coefficient which is right in front here. So this and this will go. We shall remain with x power 2 plus 5x over a 2 minus 3 over 2, which is equal to 0. And this is what we have right over here. Okay. So once we do that, we can now move this constant to the other side of the equation. So it will be x power 2 plus 5 over 2 x is equal to 3 over a 2. So now from here, we get whatever term is right here at B term. So where there is x here, now the coefficient, that is a, a 5 over 2. And when we get this, whatever number that is here, when you get it, divide by 2. Always divide by 2. And this will come out to be equal to 5 over a 4. So now this 5 over 4, you square it. It will give you a 25 over 16. So we need this. Okay. Let me run you through again. Get whatever coefficient is here. You write it. Divide by 2. So when you divide this by 2, the number which is here and this will be multiplied. Since this is a fraction and it will give us a 5 over 4. 5 over 4 to the power 2, it will be uh, 25 over 16. Because 5 to the power 2 will give us a 25. 4 to the power 2 will give us a 16. So now when you do that, you are going to say x power 2 plus 5 over 2 x plus 25 over 16, which is equal to 3 over 2 plus 25 over 16. So the 25 over 16, which is here, should be added to both sides of the equation. So I've added this side and also the other side. And this is uh, how it is. Okay. So now from here, we can simplify. And this is what we are going to have after simplifying. The left-hand side will maintain. While well, this side, when we add, we shall have a 16 uh, as, a numer as a denominator and the numerator here will be 40, 49. Okay? I hope you're able to see what is happening. So what I've just done here, I've uh, gotten the lowest common denominator, which is a 16. Okay? And then we say 2 into 16, it's 8. 8 times 3, it's uh, a 24. Plus 16 into 16, 1. 1 times 25, it's a 25. And when we add, we're getting a 49 over 16. So that's how I got this one. Now from here, we can say, okay, since this is alone like this, we now write the perfect square. We shall say x, this variable that we're able to see x, and then come here, get the number which is inside. That is a 5 over 4 power 2. So have you seen the way I've written this? If you multiply this by itself, it's going to give us what we have here. It's equal to 49 over 16. So we are at this point. X power 2 plus a 5. Oh, sorry. X plus 5 over 4 power 2, which is equal to 49 over 16. We now found, find the square root both sides. This will be x 
plus 5 over 4 is equal to plus or minus 7 over 4. So the square root of uh, 49 will be 7, square root of 16 will be a 4. So this will simply be x is equal to 7 over 4 minus 5 over 4. We can say O. The other will be negative 7 over 4 minus 5 over a 4. So let me clean up here. So these two terms or these two solutions where we said x is equal to here we shall find the lowest common denominator which is a 4 and on top when we say 7 minus 5 it will give us a 2 when we simplify further the solution will be 1 over 2 the other solution for x will be we get the lowest common denominator which is a 4 minus 7 minus 5 it will give us a minus 12 when we divide 4 into 4 1 into negative 12 it's a negative 3 so these are the two solutions we have used the method one let's try to use method two where we need to use the quadratic formula remember i said we're going to use three methods to answer this question so for the quadratic formula it will look like this x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac everything over 2a okay so here our a is uh, the number that is in front of uh, x squared term which is a 2 our b is this one and our c is the number which is right over here so let me just indicate this is a b and c so we substitute we're going to have a negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 a is a 2 c is a negative 3 over 2 a is a 2 so we simplify further this is 5 uh, negative 5 plus or minus square root over 25 plus 29 over a 4 okay so now from this stage we can say negative 5 plus or minus square root over 49 over a 4 okay so now from here we can say x is equal to 5 negative 5 plus or minus 7 over a 4 which will give us a minus plus 5 over 4 the other one will give us x is equal to minus 5 minus 7 over a 4 okay so for this one when we simplify we're getting a 2 over 4 which is just a 1 over 2 for this one it will be minus 12 over 4 which will give us a minus 3 so this is method yeah, number 2 we now go to the last method which is a factorization method so for factorization method what you need to do is just to put the brackets like this okay and then say equal to zero so what are we supposed to put inside the brackets here put the coefficient here under the variable so that's a 2x 2x okay and then on these places what are we supposed to do or to put you identify your product under the sum so my product here is a negative uh, 6 my sum is a 5 so the product can be identified by multiplying the number in front here by the constant 2 times negative 3 it's a negative 6 we now find the factors two numbers when we multiply them they give us negative 6 and when we add they give us uh, a 5 so those two numbers are a 6 and negative 1 because when you multiply we are getting this and when we add we are getting this so these are the numbers i'm supposed to put right over here it will be plus six and minus one okay so now from this stage we can say 2x plus six is equal to zero or 2x minus one is also equal to zero 
2x is equal to negative 6. When, when 6 crosses the equal sign, it will be minus 6. Divide by 2 by 2. This and this will go. x will be equal to negative 3. Okay? For this one, 2x is equal to a 1. Negative 1 comes this side. It's positive 1. Divide by 2. The value of x will be equal to 1 over a 2. These are the two solutions.